Well, happening today, we are at the City of Columbus's Fire Training Academy at the 2014 Firefighter Expo. This is an event for anyone who's interested in an, a, a career as a firefighter. It shows you what it really is like to be one of them. Cameron Fontana, of course, has always wanted to be a firefighter, so he is there uh, now live. Good morning, Cam. I've never been inside a fire training facility, a firehouse, and this one I just found out is actually one of the newest in the country. They have not only the firehouse here, but their entire testing facility. You can see across the street over there, they have firehouse buildings. They can run all their exercises so they don't have to travel far. They can do it all right here. And today, as you said, is the 2014 Firefighter Expo. And anyone can come today if you're interested in a career in firefighting or if you just want to see what it's like. Like they have hands-on exercises, seminars. You can speak to some of the firefighters. So, of course, we're going to have an amazing time this morning. We're going to get to speak to some of the heroes of this city and even take part in some of the training. This right here is a rescue dummy. That's very heavy, but we're going to have a great time. And again, you can still sign up for it if you just want to come right off Parsons Avenue. So stay tuned all morning to Good Day Columbus as we get our fire on. Back to you, Adam and Maria. <laughs> Light it up, right? I, I hope they do a training simulation with Cameron and like carry him out like the bodyguard style. <laughs> well, happening today, learning how to be a firefighter. We all know that, well, that's Adam's dream instead of being a Muppeteer. Oh, yeah, that was one of my dreams, <laughs> being a Muppeteer. Uh, you know, Cameron Fontana is doing uh, that this morning, not Muppeteering. No, he's learning how to be a great firefighter. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, Adam. Well, you know, ugh. Just got back from one of my calls this morning, early call this AM. Some kids were doing some stuff. I'm just kidding. I'm with Battalion Chief Smith. How are you today? I'm well, thank you very much. Tell us about this event that's going on today. Um, this is the first of its kind, right? First event for the city of Columbus. Uh, we're just now starting an expo so that we can get people that never, never thought about doing a job in the fire service to come down and see you and experience it. Now, what type of people are you wanting to come out here or usually do come out to an event like this? Well, we really are uh, trying to get uh, high school graduates, uh, college graduates, anybody that's ever thought or have wanted to become a fireman and ride on one of these trucks to come out and take a look and see what we really do for a living. When you think about the people that are coming, um, is this an area, this is something that they can't get anywhere else, correct? Well, there's very few facilities in the nationwide that has a multi-million dollar training facility on site. Uh, ours has been up and running for about two, since 2009, and it's a fantastic facility. We can do all of our training here, and to bring people from um, our community in just to see what we do and experience and take a look is fantastic. What type of training are you going to be doing today? Today, we're going to give a little bit of uh, EMS, uh, emergency medical services or teach people how to do some CPR, just basic CPR. We're also going to take them around our facility to learn some firefighting uh, experiences, uh, search and rescue, what our engine operations do, and what our ladder companies do. For the viewers that are watching that are interested in coming today, it's still not too late to sign up. They can register on site, correct? Correct. They can register here, come down to 30, uh, 3675 Parsons Avenue, register from 7 to 1 p.m., and get into a class session. But better yet, they can go online through the public safety uh, arena on, online and sign up for next weekend. We have an, uh, about 300 spots available uh, wow. each day today and then the following week, March 15th. That's amazing. So if you're watching from Columbus, you can come out today, sign up, go through some of this amazing training that the Columbus Division of Fire has to offer. And we're going to be going through some exercises later on today, right? Absolutely, Cameron. We're going to take you through a few things. She's going to take me through, and I don't know if I'll survive. Adam, I'm going to be living this dream for you. Back to you guys in the <laughs> studio. Fortunately, I don't think he has uh, any chance of losing his life because he's surrounded by paramedics. There you go. We're out at the Columbus Division of Fire's training facility this morning. That's right. Good Days Cameron Fontana is out in South Columbus learning how to be a firefighter this morning. Good morning, Cameron. Good morning, Maria. I'm actually with two very important gentlemen actually behind this entire fire expo, Director Brown and Chief Brack Paxton. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fantastic. How are you this morning? Very well. This is so exciting. You can see over here, there are already people in line, and this event is just packed today. Three to 400 people are going to be coming today doing hands-on training for this firefighter expo. Now tell us, what was the purpose of starting this this, this year, Director? Well, the discussions we had with the mayor, Mayor Coleman, the objective was to try and expose more and more people from a diverse perspective about firefighting and emergency medical services. Who are you looking to um, draw to this event today? 
certainly those who are able to become firefighters and certainly EMS personnel uh, and especially women. Uh, we want them to be encouraged to pursue the career of firefighting. How important is firefighting to the community of Columbus? Well, firefighting is important to every community, but certainly to our community. We have one of the finest fire divisions in the country, and we want to continue that tradition, and we want folks to come and consider being part of our family. And it's a great family. It's a fantastic family. <laughs> and with you is part of your family, Chief Paxton. How are you doing today? Doing very well, thank you. Now, you said this morning, I know we told our viewers that you could come in and sign up, and today you've had such a great response. It is actually too packed, correct? Well, we're as full as we can be today. Okay. But there are other opportunities to sign up for exposure to firefighting. And you can find th those opportunities on the City of Columbus webpage under Public Safety, Division of Fire. Great, and the, the, when is the next one that people can sign up for? Uh, April 11th. Okay, April 11th. Yes. Well, and today, hands-on training, yep. exercises, everything people need Every to be a firefighter, right? A great exposure to everything that is firefighting. Great. So make sure you stay tuned all morning to Good Day Columbus. We're going to be taking part in some of these exercises, and it's just so amazing to see many people of the community sign up to be part of the heroes that keep our city safe. Back to you, Adam and Maria. That's right, and Camera Fontana is taking us out there live to the 2014 Firefighter Expo. So what are you doing now? Good morning to all of our viewers watching, and if you're just tuning into Good Day Columbus, we are at the 2014 Firefighters Expo, and this is really neat because it's giving viewers and people an opportunity to just see what it's like to be a firefighter. And with me are two firefighters themselves. Miss Kaylee, how are you? Good. Good morning. How are you? Very well. And Miss Wendy, how are you? Good. How are you? Now tell us what we have going on here. This is one of your training exercises. Lead us through this. Okay. This is one of our training exercises. And what we're going to do is walk you through this morning is bystander CPR. Okay. CPR before the medics get there. And Wendy's going to start out by showing you, first we look for if they're alert. Okay. If they're breathing, they're not breathing, and they're not conscious, we're going to go ahead and start CPR right away. Okay. First and most important is uh, compressions. We're going to do compressions hard and fast as we can, okay? Okay. Sometimes, though, after a few minutes, people get tired. Yeah. We can switch out on that. Okay. Uh, but when we encourage people to do CPR, we go fast and hard, making sure that chest comes up for a recoil. Great. So switching out, let me let me get in here if you can hold sure. my mic. Absolutely. What do I need to do? What is the proper? Okay. What hand? you want to do is first put your hands in the center of the chest. Okay. Okay. And you're gonna lock your hands together. Like uh huh. Perfect. And awesome. just push down. Push down as hard and as fast as you can. As hard and as fast. Very good. Yep. Now, what about people thinking about injuring the? person that they're giving CPR well, what's important to remember is this person isn't conscious or breathing so most importantly just a little bit softer there you go good so what we're trying to do is get that blood circulating uh, for that patient whose heart's no longer pumping I so, never thought you said switching out that's very tiring it is very you tiring think the human yes. body is so hard Absolutely. and then so how long do you switch out normally usually after two minutes okay. um, on the scene we'll go ahead and switch out and that way we have a fresh person on there and we're getting good compressions Wow, and then these classes you have going on all day today, and yep, you actually put them through live demos, correct? Correct, yep. Wow, so again, just one of the things going on here at the Firefighters Expo, and coming up next, we're going to take a look at some more exercises and really great informa information for viewers that you can watch, some cool tips that you can have if you really find yourself in a situation where you need to save a life. Back to you, Adam and Maria. Yeah, definitely this important to learn how to wow. do it. And I know that I would still love to see Cameron be carried away by a firefighter, <laughs> a la the that. bodyguard. <laughs> just walking out of that fire station. Well, we'll make that happen maybe in the next half hour. We'll see. Thanks, Kim. Cameron Fontana is taking us out there live to the 2014 Firefighter Expo. Yes, good morning. We are at the Firefighters Expo, and with me is Captain Sanson. How are you doing, sir? Very good today. Now, tell us about this demonstration that the people arriving today are going to be going through. This will be our fire rescue dummy drag. Wow. It'll be approximately 135 pound dummy drag, 25 feet to demonstrate what they would do for the Wow, testing. now right over here is Firefighter Henderson. Show us exactly how this is done. And on top of that, how heavy is that dummy? That's approximately 135 pounds, and we will have some dummies that will go up to 225 pounds in the recruit training category. That was so fast, and on top of the dummy, he has all the gear on. How much does that weigh? Uh, that weighs about 40 to 50 pounds when you put everything on too. Amazing, and he did that what? It was like seven or eight seconds Absolutely. by the end of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna give my shot at this what just to did? show hard. Okay, so go behind, lift up behind the legs. Yes. Okay. Underneath the shoulders. Underneath the shoulders. Got a 
grab onto the handles. You saw how fast he did it. Here we go. And just go for it. Just go. Ah! This is heavy. Keep going. I'm Almost. going. Now they have to do this through all the drills, right? Yes. Wow. And they have to do these upstairs? We'll do them upstairs with the wind vest. They'll do uh, multiple events after this as well. Oh, we made it. We made it, buddy. Oh, my goodness. Now, how often through training do these gentlemen have to do this? They will use the dummies throughout the entire fire training academy. Um, roughly 20 weeks, they're always using a portion of their bottles and dummy drags throughout that time period. So just to give our viewers an idea, Firefighter Henderson over there got here in about seven seconds. It took me about 30 to almost a minute to get down here. This is extremely difficult. What the firefighters have to go through is intense. It's a lot of training, right? Absolutely. That's why we do a lot of physical conditioning with them to get them in shape for this particular event. Wow. And they are all in shape, unlike me. And today we are at the Firefighters Expo, just one of the demonstrations that the people coming here will be seeing and going through. And coming up next, we're going to do some more, right? Absolutely. Oh, we're getting our cardio and workout in this morning. He Thank you, Captain. Out of Thank breath you. I appreciate this it. Back to you in the studio. You look good, though, Cameron. <laughs> Safety first, that's what I've always say. Now the Columbus Fire Department is looking for its next generation of firefighters. Cameron Fontana is showing us what it takes. He is out at the Firefighter Expo, and Cameron, do you have what it takes? Maybe they found a, someone to <laughs> You know go what, ahead I don't think I'm part of that next generation they're looking for. I'm with Firefighter Crumpler. How are you doing today, sir? Doing good. We are having right here another one of their exercises that they're demonstrating today. And what is this exercise? This is the forcible entry simulator. Now, what does this simulate in the real world? This is uh, simulating forcing entry into a locked structure. Okay, let's show us how it's done. All right. So now the object is you're going to hit with the sledgehammer the tire across. Is that correct? Yes, it's to simulate the um, you know how how much it might take in order for you to get inside the building. Okay, so, so like you're gonna push. Locked. Yes, sir. You're okay. gonna be pushing the, the uh, tire across the table. Wow. Let's see how sets. it's done. Now again, so much of this training, just to give you an idea, go for it. It is so extensive, and they got to be in shape to be able to do this. Now imagine you're going through a house, the fire's going, the smoke is going. You're trying to save lives, and they have to be able to do this at any time. And look how quickly he moved that tire across the way. That is amazing. Now, how long have you had to train for this? How long have you had to train, Firefighter Crumpler? Um, training is every day. Wow, so, so you do this every day on a regular basis? Yes, sir. Now, can you hold the mic for me? Let's sure get can. you on this side. Just to give you an idea of how quickly he moved it over here and how hard it is, I'm gonna try to take a stab at it to go. And it's barely moving. Uh, simulating getting into a door. And I'm already out of breath. You weren't even out of breath when you were done. Wow, again, how in shape these firefighters are is amazing. And this is just part of the Firefighters Expo that's going on all day here at the Fire Training Academy. Now, today's signups are full, but you can still sign up and go to their website because they have more training next month and going out all throughout the day. And coming up next, we're gonna do another exercise you guys just put me through the ringer today, aren't you? <laughs> Go and try. Go you guys try. are having too much fun enjoying this because you're great at it. And I'm just showing you how amazing these firefighters are at doing this. So stay tuned to Good Day Columbus because up next, we're keeping this on and we're going to be pulling some hose. Is that what it's called? Pull line. Pull line hose. He's so out of you. breath. Could Adam you? is sore already just by watching. Could you do that? <laughs> sure. What's happening today, though, hundreds of people are learning what it takes to be Columbus firefighters. Cameron Fontana is taking us out live to the 2014 Firefighter Expo. Cameron. Yes, you know, the amazing people here, the firefighters, the chief, the captain, have made it such an amazing morning at the Firefighters Expo 2014 at the Columbus Fire Training Academy. And they're just giving me a glimpse of what it's like to be a firefighter because about three to 400 people will be signing up today going through a lot of these exercises to see if being a firefighter is something they really want to do. And with me is a firefighter himself, Firefighter Berger. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing well, sir. How are you? Very well. Now, you graduated from this program, is that right? That's correct. Uh, my class graduated on February the 7th. Wow, so you just graduated and you trained here. Yes, sir. So the same spot you're showing me, you were just training here months ago. That's correct. Awesome, and you're already on TV. Say hi, Columbus. Hello, Columbus. <laughs> now, this last exercise, what are we going to be doing? Uh, we're just going to charge uh, inch and three-quarter hand line, um, 
Uh, the truck's pumping at about 120 to 130 PSI, and the nozzle flows 185 to 200 gallons a minute. So wow. we're gonna let you guys feel what that's like, I guess. Wow, that 185 to 200 gallons a minute, and that's so important when you're going through a building, right? Yes, sir. Wow, so, okay, let's do it right now. Show me, because this is very strong. He's gonna help me with it. Okay. Uh, tell me what we're gonna do here. All right, well, we're gonna get the line up here. And okay. Be, and uh, go ahead, are you gonna be up front? Here? Yeah, here we go. All right, go ahead and kinda pinch it under your arm there and hold on tight. And okay. Open, uh, open the bale slowly. Open it Whenever slowly. Yep. yep. Whoa! Yep. That is so strong, it's like pushing us back. We're getting rid of the snow over there. Spring's <laughs> coming up. We're gonna melt the snow away actually today. But this is so strong, it's so cool. I've never done this before. How many times have you done this? Oh, several times throughout the course of the academy. So this is just another day on the job. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna put it back slowly. There you go. Wow. That was intense. It was. Now, when people come through, it's pretty shocking to see how strong it is. Mm -hmm. It is. The, the nozzle reaction's uh, greater than what you would think it would be. Wow, so. it is greater. We've had a great time this morning. Thank you so much, Firefighter, for helping us out today. We greatly appreciate it. Sure, thank you for having me. Back to you in the studio. Just a great time at the 2014 Firefighters Expo. I might want to bring Adam and Maria out here and just bring them all out here because that was really fun, spraying the water. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun there, Cameron.